Hi, I'm Megan Daly, Assemblywoman for California's First Assembly District. During my time in office, we've worked with community leaders to identify local problems that require solutions at the state level. The work we do at the Capitol directly impacts the constituents in our district and all over California, and here's how. Well, first I'd like to say, you know, throughout history, uh, the government has passed legislation that hindered our ability to have cultural events. In fact, uh, when our children were sent off to boarding schools, they weren't allowed to speak their language, they weren't allowed to wear their hair long, they weren't allowed to practice any of their religious events. S Assembly Bill 516 is a great direction for what we need in Indian country is healing those, those wrongs that were done to us for so long. In 2017, the chronic absenteeism data came out for the first time. Uh, and in looking at that data, one of the things that became quite obvious was the fact that our Native American population had the highest percent of students who were chronically absent of any of our student groups. Within the course of a couple of uh, months, we were able to bring together a convening of Native American leaders. And in that listening session, what I heard from the natives who attended was, we've never had an audience with our school and district administrators before. Uh, we don't feel seen within the curriculum. We don't feel that we are valued uh, for the ceremonies that we are involved in. Uh, there was a lot of emotion shared uh, as part of that meeting and I realized how significant this really was and I said to the group, this is not the end of the conversation, this is just the beginning. And so out of that, we began the American Indian Advisory. Uh, and we have representatives from our local tribes uh, who were historically on this land. And one of the earlier areas of focus was really to address uh, the concerns around chronic absenteeism. And what we found in that process uh, was that their cultural events were not ones that necessarily matched our school calendar. And so we began the process of taking a look at um, education code and what did it say in terms of excused absence? Because it's one thing to be absent, but it's another thing to say that absence isn't even excused, uh, which really devalues the people for whom you're saying that to. So something that's truly important to my culture, I can't even make up the work if I go and participate with my tribe or whatever cultural group that I'm a part of. I reached out initially to uh, Megan Dolly's uh, regional staff and af asked for an opportunity to just really share um, the reality uh, of something so simple to be changed and yet what an impact that would make. And I was invited over to meet with uh, uh, actually both Megan and, and Brian Dolly along with their staff and really share with them the work we had been doing and what I saw the impact that this could have. In the fall then, uh, what moved forward was Assembly Bill 516. And we didn't have the opportunity, uh, again, due to COVID, to be able to go down, but we were watching closely that legislation here locally. And then for it to actually be signed by the governor on Native American Day, the last Friday of September, was really meaningful. Uh, the, the timing of it, uh, the recognition of it, uh, really meant a lot. we're having an impact statewide. Uh, and not only for Native Americans, but for uh, ethnic groups, cultural groups statewide. Uh, and that was pretty profound, not only for me personally, but also for our American Advisory Group as a whole. I've had some feedback from families who, um, who say that it's a great thing, which I agree with. A lot of the absenteeism with the, the Native youth is from ceremonies. 
um, different types of ceremonies. We don't have just one ceremony. And so for that to be um, passed and to be, and not to have that hold against them, the families really um, are thankful for it, as well as myself. So although the bill itself was focused primarily on whether a student was excused or unexcused, being able to make up the work or not being able to make up the work, we would hope that within every classroom, students' experiences while away at these cultural events, would there would be an interest by the, the teachers, by the other students to say, hey, where were you? And an opportunity to share uh, so that the value of every culture is recognized within the classroom. Thanks for watching. If you have an idea that needs a legislative solution, please contact my office at the link below. It's an honor to serve you.